Usually when you think of rotisserie, you think of roast chickens, lamb, beef, but have you ever thought of rotisserie fruit? Just like this pineapple, it is a standout dish and my oven comes with a rotisserie function. So I'm gonna show you my version and it's the ultimate dessert. So I'm gonna be basting it with a really sticky, sugary mixture. So into a pot, I'm going to add some honey. You want a few generous tablespoons of that, about a quarter of a cup, and the same amount of brown sugar. So I like the two sugars, so we really form a gorgeous, glossy, dark, deep crust on this. For some flavours, vanilla bean paste, about a teaspoon, and a good pinch of cinnamon. Now, I'm just gonna keep it very basic like this, but by all means, you can add many different flavorings to this. If you like, you can even add a splash of rum, and that's a really nice combination with the pineapple. So on with the heat, and just on a low heat, and we're just gonna let everything melt together, and that won't take long at all. Now over to our beautiful pineapple. You need a nice, fresh pineapple. And I've just taken out the little eyes of the pineapple just to decorate it. You don't have to do this. I'm just really showing off here. Grab your rotisserie skewer. We're just going to turn that over and very carefully, we're just going to thread the pineapple onto the skewer. And once you've teased it a little bit through and it's stable, pop it up and you can force the skewer through and by doing this, we're getting it through the centre. Now we want it to be through the centre, so as it cooks on the rotisserie, it cooks nice and evenly. So now we can just carefully force that through. And you'll see on the one side, I've attached the prong. So you wanna fasten it to the prong, nice and tight. And the second prong can go on. So we'll just thread that on and piece it through. Tighten that screw and then you can see that is really stable, you know that that's going to cook quite evenly. Okay, this is looking good. See how thick and glossy our mixture is? So I'm going to baste this now, pop it into the oven, and as it starts to cook on the rotisserie, I will baste it occasionally, just so we get a beautiful, even crust on this rotisserie pineapple. All right, placing the skewer into the oven is really easy. We just place the pineapple into the motor hole and then place it onto the rack. We want to unscrew the rotisserie handle and I've put a tray at the bottom of the oven with just some water and that's going to catch all those sugary bits that are going to fall and drip off that pineapple as it cooks. So we'll close the oven and we'll go to the rotisserie function and I'm gonna cook this on quite a high heat, so between 200 to 220, and off we go. And you'll see that the beautiful pineapple is not only going to caramelise, but it's going to smell amazing. Well, isn't this impressive? Look how perfectly caramelised this gorgeous pineapple is. It smells so good too. So I'm gonna take the prong out. It is really important to allow it to cool slightly because that is going to be piping hot. We'll take our pineapple off our rotisserie skewer. And to serve this, we just wanna cut this straight down the center and a generous wedge. And look at the color difference. See how it's still that nice bright yellow. Then you've got the deep color on the outside. We'll cut that into quarters and then cut it again. And I'm gonna serve two portions here. So just pop that on the plate. And this one can just sit up like that. And you can serve with some ice cream. Coconut ice cream would be fantastic. There's many things you could do. Or keep it very simple with some creme fraiche. I love the tartness of it. It goes really well with that sweet caramelized pineapple. Place a dollop on the plate. And to keep with that tropical theme, the zest of some lime straight over the top. And I still have some of that basting syrup, so I'm gonna drizzle that over the top. Wow, how impressive does that look? So there you have it. That is my rotisserie pineapple. You should definitely give that a spin.